In this video, we will cover advanced features and diagnostics in the file menu. Timeout in advanced settings lets you set how long in seconds a stitching mode will stay engaged without detecting any input from the quilter. Detecting input means that the encoders on the carriage and frame of your machine are no longer sending movement information to Perfect Stitch. System information provides information about the current software of your system. This is usually accessed to see if an update is available or during troubleshooting. System log is a history of actions the machine has taken, including detecting errors. Pressing reset will temporarily clear the log. If you exit and re-enter the system log, the log will be restored. Save allows you to save the log to a USB drive and will permanently remove the log from the machine. This is used in some cases for troubleshooting. Update system is used to update Perfect Stitch software and any other QuiltEasy devices via USB. Update machine is used to update Perfect Stitch software via USB. Maintenance is used to check on the machine maintenance counter. Manufacturer recommendations for most machines require that a quilting machine be oiled for every eight hours of use. The maintenance button displays a notice of how many hours remain until the next scheduled oiling. Pressing reset sets the schedule back to eight hours. If you use the machine for more than eight hours, Perfect Stitch will remind you that the machine needs to be oiled. Robot Demo Interface activates a product demonstration of the robotics user interface. This is used mostly in commercial settings and shouldn't need to be activated. Disable Robot Port and Disable Rear Port will deactivate ports on the rear of the machine. This is used largely for troubleshooting and should not be used without being directed to do so. Diagnostics provides data from the various sensors and inputs of your Perfect Stitch device. The motor index measures the number of needle ups and tracks whether the needle is up or down. When the motor index button is pressed, it displays the total number of needle ups recorded by the index sensor since the machine was last turned on. The motor index is used when troubleshooting whenever the needle is not starting or stopping in the correct position. Motor encoder measures your machine's speed. It is used to test that the motor is operating at normal levels. The measurements recorded in motor encoder reset to zero every time you display them by pressing the motor encoder button. Pressing the motor settings button will prompt you for a password. Motor settings, if changed improperly, can damage your machine and should only be changed by an authorized technician. The temperature button displays the current operating temperature of your motor. Safe levels of operation are under 100 degrees Celsius. If your motor exceeds safe levels, an error message will appear on the screen. If the problem continues to occur, you should contact your local dealer for support. The top encoder button displays the Y encoder coordinates of the stitching system. The number displayed should change when you push the handlebars away from or towards yourself. The bottom encoder button displays the X encoder coordinates of the stitching system. The number displayed should change when you push the handlebars to the left or to the right. Top and bottom encoders are regularly checked if there is a problem with the stitch regulation. Handlebar buttons will test whether Perfect Stitch is sending or receiving information from the handlebar button inputs. Needle Up tests the Needle Up and Needle Down inputs. The jog dial is used to jog a needle that is stuck and refuses to move. Position Mode will apply power to the motor in order to move the machine up or down to the specified needle location. Negative settings in the jog dial will cause the motor to run in reverse. Power Mode will apply power as you turn the dial. When needed, power mode is recommended to jog the machine.